Alright guys, welcome to my let's play of The Stanley Parable. This was requested a while back by Gabriel Knights, so once again, thank you for the request. Uh, what is Stanley Parable? But I was gonna say, um, honestly, I think a lot of people know it by now. Um, if you haven't heard of this, it is a first-person game that focuses more on the narration of a game, as well as like the video game kind of genre itself, and kind of breaking the fourth wall here and there. That's in a nutshell. Um, I honestly have watched this long time ago on YouTube. So, I wouldn't consider this a blind playthrough, it's more half and half. I remember some bits of it, some bits I don't. But still, this is just the pure, pure enjoyment of how my run goes. So, you know what, let's, let's start. Let's begin the game. And I'm pretty excited, not gonna lie. As soon as it loads. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Okay. Um, well, you know, we haven't left the office. Let, let's, let's look around. So I will say this is by far the most boring job I have ever heard of. Um, I can definitely imagine that it pays hopefully incredibly well for someone who enjoys his job oh so much um so we can't in I guess we can't interact with this at all uh okay and it seems like no oh, no time time's moving okay okay well well I'm slightly impatient so let's get on with this let's let's leave the room Wow. Okay. Uh, can we enter here? Nope. And... Nope. Can we open this one? Nope. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Mm, that's true. It could be a holiday. It could be the closure of the company. Uh... Maybe the zombie apocalypse happened in the show. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. The mug is amusing. Who farted? Um. Yeah, there, there's absolutely no one here, but I'm gonna still see if we can raid their place. Oh, oh, we got, oh. I'm king of the world! Woo! Can we jump? Can we jump? No, we can't. Okay. Oops, I guess I can't tinker with this now anymore. Oops. Damn it. The only working computer. Uh, okay, let's. Okay, we can't go in there. Okay, let's. So the narrator said the meeting room. And it's so white in here. Holy pickles. Uh, what is this? Okay. 
and absolutely no one is in here as well. Uh, oh, okay, I guess not. Uh -huh. Oh, what is that? Oh, it just says the name of the cubicle. Huh. Okay. Nope, does it open? Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference. Nor did it advance the story in any way. What are you talking about? It advanced the story a smidge. Stanley is a very observant individual who likes to make sure the computers are turned off for electrical safety and likes to see what his, uh, his other employees did at their desk. So, meh. Stanley clicked on literally every single door in the office because he doesn't pick up well on cues from his environment. Well, you try playing a point-and-click adventure game and, you know, get in the habit of clicking everything. Everything! <laughs> okay. I hate Mondays. Me too. Ooh, what is a phone? What is this? What is this? Nope. Okay. Okay. Can we enter 416? Nope. 415? Nope. Uh, this room? It seems like an interesting room. There's charts and thingy majiggies. When Stanley oh. came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Do I have to? Let's, let's go around. Well, we'll delay the inedible here for a second. Let's say hi to the plant. Hi, plant. How are yous? Can we, can we go back? No, we can't. Uh, he said to the left. Do I really want to enter the left? Hmm. 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 Rebel against the narrator. Rebel! This was oh. not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Yes. And we can't even leave, so we have to be stuck with this choice. Huh. That place got pretty raided. Nope. Mm, nope. Oh, the computer's on. I need to go in there and turn the computer off. I need to save the environment one computer click off at a time. Uh. Nope. Um, um, okay. Well, I guess this is the employee office. Ah, yes. Truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. I guess. It's not bad. I I've seen worse staff rooms, I guess. Yes. Really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. Oh, I think it's worth it. You never know if there was a vital clue that popped up that I need to, at like... At this point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. It's possible that this is why everyone left. What? No. I hope not. I'm just, I'm just trying to cook around. Mm. Stanley sat around waiting for more dialogue. But when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. Well, yeah, I know what you're, the message you're getting at, but I, I'm, I'm so curious. I just want to make sure... I explore every nook and cranny and also catch my mic at perfect time because my cat decided to knock it down. So yeah. Also, I'm not going to lie, my cat jumped from my chair all the way to the floor in a whole shit moment. Oh, I wish I had it on webcam. It was hilarious. Oh, I should edit this out. I really, I don't know if I want to. Okay, Mike's fine. Okay, let's continue. Hoppa! 
There. But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. You happy now? Are you happy? Okay. Let's see if we can enter any of these rooms. Check the old 90s phone. I think I went back this way. Yes, I did. Let's see if we can try to get back there. No. Okay. Let's continue then. Let's let's see what else. Nope. Mm, nope. Ooh, that's open. Let's check these first. Nothing. What is this? What is this? It looks like some construction drafting area. And which is this? Looks like some sort of warehouse. Yeet. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. But there's a red button. Can I can I not push the red button? What is this? Huh. It's telling me to keep going that way, but home. Home. Nothing happens when I go in. There's no narration. I know I had to click a button. Do I? Should I? Do I? Should I? Let's keep going. Oh, and it closed. Okay, let's see what else we can click on. Because I am a curious person. Okay, I'm guessing this is the meeting room. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Well, let's look around first, because I am curious. Uh, interesting. Ooh, office party! Ah, uh, maybe it's the office party. Everyone buggered off to go to the office party. Um... Wow, there's a lot. Mergers. What to do about 432? Don't tell 432 about meeting. Okay. I don't even remember if I am room 432. I can't remember. But okay. We're broke Wednesday. That feels like my everyday. Mm, okay. And rest in peace fawns. Okay. What's on this one? Chris out of the broom closet. Interesting. <laughs> I enjoy the um, fire paper guy. Hire somebody to fire the paper synergy guy. Oh, look at that employee. Blah, blah, blah. Number, number, number. And then Jim. That's interesting. And I wonder what's written here. No idea, but it's a lot of papers. Oh. Oh. How to solve a dispute with a coworker. Let a ball inside of you, take it up, passive aggressive on other coworkers. Yo, that's a, that's a common thing to happen in a workplace. That is true. That is true. I'm glad to know I'm unique. Slightly crazy, but I'm glad to know I'm a unique. Mm. Good to know. There's a lot of slides and charts compared with, with the pie. They would chart on the same side to put the same information. Stanley just stood there doing nothing at all. He seems to think I have nothing better to do with my time than to sit around and describe every fascinating little detail of his inability to do anything. This is why Stanley and I are on such good terms. What? I am curious about what's happening, so I'm taking my sweet ass time to see what I'm looking at. Meh. Why do we hire you? <laughs> What are your dreams for the future? Uh, a boat? Okay. Less air? <laughs> no, I like more air. Clear skin? Uh, uh, maybe. 
Tits are not getting fired. Talk less, do unbelievably amazing work. You know what? That is true. That is kind of true. Just kind of fly under the radar. Sometimes that works am amazing. Okay. To do. Synergize core values. Monetize free to play. Wait, are we in a video game company? What do people want? Grass about things. <laughs> huh. Interesting. Okay, I think I'm done in here. So, let's continue. Oh. And I can't go in. Okay, let's get to you. Ooh, ooh. Hey, I wonder if this Chris guy is in there. Is there Chris? Stanley ooh. stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. So he turned around and got back on track. What? There's things. There's a wrench. There's more wrenches. There's duct tape. We can, we can use duct tape. There was tape. nothing here. No choice to make. No path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. No but reason to still be here. It's not empty. See, there's this, there's this thingy, majiggy. I forget what they call, but you put the mop in there and the water goes it in there. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least, if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet fa. Well, I'm not doing sweet fa. I, I'm looking. See, broom. Look at that broom. Are you, are you really still in the broom closet? Yes. Standing around doing nothing? Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. Well, I did. I did. There's stuff in here. See, there's stuff. We can MacGyver things if we need to. You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention it. But it does have significant story because I entered the brew closet, so it does. Maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite. I hope your friends find this concerning. Okay, we know there are multiple endings then in this game, but this- Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That all with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. That is so mean. That is, that is so mean, narrator. I don't like well, you I've any- come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. It's okay, I got- Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby, the person at this computer is dead. He or she has fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place at the computer, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. But what if that person decides to stay longer in the broom closet? Because they want to. And plus, if I die, I got cats, so they're gonna eat me. So, like, eat my dead body, so it doesn't matter. Chance are my husband would come home, we'd be like, oh, there's a skeleton on the ground. Awesome, okay, good, good to know. <laughs> And that was mean. That was just mean of him calling Stanley here, like, terrible names. For that, I, I we're just going to sit in the corner and not acknowledge the narrator at all. Because that was a dick move. Pure dickery. 
And plus, we didn't die. I did not hear no trombo uh, trombone, I want to say trombone music, and an animatronic popped up in my office and gave me the heebie-jeebies. Nothing like that happened. I hope not. I hope no animatronic pops up and screams at me. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, you know what? I think we pissed the narrator off enough. I, I don't know. I like the broom closet. Like, there's stuff. There is stuff in here. I don't always complain, but we could take the duct tape. We could duct tape the walls because they need a coat of paint. We can wrench things. We can create music with everything. There's stuff to do in here. I don't know what he's talking about. Anywho, I guess I'll leave. Meh. Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. Yes, I can. Closet! You too? <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. A fish? Fungus? Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. Uh, this is my, this is my dog. He can totally play Stanley Parable. I think. Okay, let, let's leave. But let's go back in. And let's leave. And go back in. I don't think anything's gonna happen. I think we pissed off the narrator enough, so let's just keep going. Bye, Broom Closet. You were fantastic. Okay. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay, let's go talk to the man. Let's, let's, let's be like, I want to be the boss. And take over your office. Ooh, oh my, what fanciness. Oh. Oh, why don't I get an office like this? Why? What is this? Executive bathroom. Oh. See, why? Like, oh, this is fancy. I want an office like this. Damn it, I am totally like, oh. I'm sorry, I, my, my office is like, well, I need to clean up, but it's, I, I want like dark wood and royal wallpaper of red and royalty and fancy. Oh, there's a fireplace. I don't, I don't want an office like this. Look at the other couches and the plant and, oh, oh, this looks amazing. Do I have to talk to a boss? Can I just leave though? Or is it locked? Yeah, it's locked. Okay, let's go see the bosses here. Let, let's do this. Be like. Oh, so fancy! I want an office like this! Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. That's very subtle of you, narrator. But I'm gonna keep looking around. Oh, this is a picture of a kitty. Oh, you're a kitty. Oh, kitty. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. I wonder what the combination is. It, it sounds like it's 2845. I, I don't know, though. I'm going to keep working, though, because... 2845. I, I, I'm really enjoying pissing off the narrator. And look at those bottles of, um... I think that's... Well, it says on there. Uh, I can't remember if it's a wine or cognac. I can't remember, but... I've seen those bottles. They're a bit fancy. I think they're expensive. Forgot, but it turns out that the panel's emergency override kicked in. Oh. And the door just no. opened all by itself. And Stanley got the hell along with the story. Well, whoop de do. <laughs> well, you know what? Just, just to piss you off. Let's, let's go. One, 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 one. Two, 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 two. Stanley simply began entering random <laughs> codes into the keypad, knowing full well the sheer statistical unlikelihood that this would ever result in a correct combination. If he knew that the combo was 2845, it would be another story entirely. But no, no, this is what he was going to do instead. Yippers! <laughs> four, 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 four. 
five. I don't think I'm gonna get an answer for it, but I'm gonna keep pushing buttons. Just cause I wanna be a dick. This is this narrator called Stanley Fat and all that stuff. We're gonna be a dick. Okay, nothing happened. Let's go towards it. Two, eight, four, five. Okay, nothing happened. The narrator is not impressed with how I'm playing this. Okay. Let's go in. And let's leave. Okay, nothing happened. Oh, that's interesting. There's a yellow... I guess secret room. Yeah, derp. Okay, well, let's continue. Let's, let's see. Ah, it's too dark. No, thank you. Okay, let's click this button. Up here. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. I'm assuming because of the fact that once you have a job and it's just come second nature to be in a routine of constantly doing this oh, oh mind control I see mind control it could be mind control I think of that but I like my analogy a little better since you know Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read mind control facility escape 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 <laughs> oh, no, escape although this passageway had the word escape written on it the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Damn it! Well, uh, do I trust? No, Nary has been a dick to me. I, I don't trust him. I'm gonna keep the going. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. No, you are being. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. You've been so mean, so... Oh my. Ha! Ah. Poodoosh! Ah, it is! Oops! Oops. Oops. Well, you're being mean, so... Meh. Oh, I guess we didn't die. Are we? As the machine whirred into motion, and Stanley was inched closer and closer to ah. his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. I can't leave. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plugging the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. My last words, you are a dick to me, narrator. F you Oh. Oh. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Ah. I think I just cheated the system. Thank you, lady narrator. You kick ass. Okay. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Uh, I think I pissed him off enough that, you know, he wanted to kill me. I'm thinking that's what happened. Oh. This when is... every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? 
Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Yeah, I could kind of see that. Um, because all he did was just kind of got into his routine and I'm guessing he didn't do much with his life. Um, sorry, I'm just reading. Um, the fact that, like, with any job, once you get a job it and it becomes all routine, you kind of lose that, like, feeling and, like, motivation to really strive to do something different. Hopefully I'm making sense. Hopefully I am. Um... But yeah, um, hmm. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's kind of true with any p job that involves like cubicles and all that and, oh, buttons. Okay, cool. Okay. What? There was a computer that had solitaire on it. Ah. Oh. Employee database. Oh, we can turn these off. Let's, let's save more power, people. Oh, credits. Good to know. All right. So, what is this way? Ah, the office. Huh. Oh, we can go upstairs. Okay, let's go upstairs. This point is to lose. There before. Oh! That's an interesting note. Hmm. War zone. Interesting. Sorry if this is going a little bit further, but this is actually interesting. I like the uh, museum and learning all these little nooks and crannies and all this information. What? I wanted to go in that lounge. It's a good thing I stalled in there and looked at everything and saw what I saw. What is that? Okay, I was gonna say, something better not come out and kill me. Oh good, okay. The apartment timer. Huh. That kinda gave me the heebie-jeebies there. Cause... I thought something was gonna pop up and kill me! And I don't want that. Oh, look! Oh, cool. They're all the... Oh, the event? What does this say here? Oh, okay. So they had options. Okay. Interesting. Huh. What are these? Zending levers. Interesting. Zending. Huh. Cool. This is actually really neat. Oh, trailers. We ran four major T trailer over the course of the game's development. Huh, can we watch it? Oh, we can! Oh!
I wish there was audio, but apparently not. But still, this is freaking cool. Though part of me wants to continue onward for the episode sake, but part of me wants to sit and really enjoy this. And I think I want to go with plan B, because, yeah. This is also interesting. Hopefully you guys find this interesting, too. I wonder if we get to see these rooms. Because as, as they mentioned, there are different endings and, you know, I wonder if we get the bloom, broom closet ending. Maybe this is the broom closet ending and the broom closet actually had a point! Okay, I th think I'm going to continue onward and upward and hopefully when I turn around there's no monster or something that's going to eat me alive and freak me out. Okay, we're still good. <laughs> oh. Oh, I remember that room. I remember seeing this room. That room's pretty infamous. Uh, I wonder when we'll get to that room. Yeah, I'm gonna continue onward, guys. Okay. Um, we didn't go in that one. Countdown room? Ah! Interesting. Countdown office? Okay. A free oh, there's a freedom ending. Huh. Interesting. No, I think that's the exit. But we're not done quite yet. I, I think. I don't know. Did we go down this one? Yeah, okay, we went down here, and I, we turned there, so, huh. <laughs> huh. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Cool. I'm not gonna sit there and look at them. Um. Okay, so we looked there. We didn't see it here, but the office rooms, they're slightly different. Cool. Oh, the evolution. Cool. That's pretty neat. I think I have explored everything in this lovely museum of the, um,. I guess Stanley Parable Museum, I guess I'll call it. I think. Oh, I didn't go down here. Let's quickly go down here. This this freedom ending. I ought to try to get this freedom ending. And I'm curious. I'm guessing I have to go through the mind control room and then do that way. Okay, so different office of the stage progression. What's this way? Employee li see those couches are useful. Underground. Oh, okay. Huh. What is this? Narration outtakes. Oh. Stanley pushed the number six. Well, try the other one then. There we go. Try to hear the outtakes. Okay, unfortunately I have to leave this room. The audio is really hard to hear. Yeah, we'll just leave this area. 
That's neat, though. I'll have to check it out some other time, but I think because of the volume a little bit lower, it makes the outtakes harder to hear. I think that's everything. Yes, it is. Okay, let's go through that black room that we saw earlier. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, so this way and... Oh, oh yeah, exit. There we go. Yeah, indeed. Okay. That was awesome. Thank you, lady. <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. That's interesting to put. Off. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let nope. time choose. Oh, I guess I'll let time chose. Oops. Huh. So I guess I got the bad ending, and Stanley died. Well, maybe it's a good time to end the episode here. Um, I do understand the fact that they do need one another. I can see that, because you a narrator needs something in the story to move forward so the narrator can continue. At the same time, that character needs the narrator in order to explain what he's doing, or how he's interacting, or what his surroundings are like. Which is funny, because I pissed off the narrator. Um, I even clicked. Okay, so I had to hit escape and quit. But we're going to end the episode here, guys. Uh, thank you for watching the first episode of Stanley Parable. It's an interesting trip so far. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, usual like, comment, and subscribe. And with that, you guys have a good day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!